Right, um, here we are. I'm going to show you some drawing now, how to do your drawing. Now if you've worked, gone to school in the foyer, then you've seen a folder like this with your name on for you to pick up. Um, so uh, we're going to draw from one of the pictures in there. So in the, the folder there were um, some uh, a couple of cubist pictures so I put those in there in case you actually um, needed to you, you could didn't have a printer at home and I've also printed off some objects in there like that so these are just photographs I took at home in school we'd set up a still life and um, I'd get you a little group set up a still life and then we would do a picture but I, we're not in school are we we're in lockdown so this is um, some objects I've taken photographs I've taken at home and I have put a couple in each folder for you to work from and a couple of sheets of A3 paper so your paper should be like this now um, we are going to draw a picture so this is with somebody who's done it before they've drawn this picture there and this is going to be the first picture in your sketchbook now if you look at the sketchbook videos you can see that that picture gets broken down from an A3 picture to an A4, A4 one for your sketchbook. So I'm looking for one now. Um, back in school, so you end up doing an A3 picture like that. We end up photocopying it down so it looks like you can draw an HD because all the detail comes in there. Notice there's little white areas, that's because photocopy just on a piece of paper and it's picked up because it's nice paper it's picked up the grain of the paper so the paper I've put in your folder is like this and a piece of photocopy paper is like this and this is thin it hasn't got a grain on the surface so this actually will pick up the pencil nicer so treat that piece of paper really precious because that's what we're going to be drawing on the A3 paper in your folder um, I also put there's a some cubist images that I put in that's in case you do not have a printer at home because we're going to copy one of these and if you are doing the the lesson where you actually annotate if you annotated one of the pictures that's in your folder and you haven't got a printer that would put you in good stead because in class we can print off the work but if you want to copy from a picture then you will have the picture in your folder right so um, how this works this student we're going to uh, the way I taught her we're going to do it exactly the same we're going to get a picture so this is a picture somebody in the class has got this picture I've given everyone a different a couple of different pictures so nobody's going to do the same one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a ruler and I'm just going to draw the width of a ruler across now I'm going to do this in pen I would never have my picture underneath by the way that's a photocopy of a student's work so because I wouldn't want to make the indentation on it an indentation on it so I'm going to draw a line across this is with a biro or a black pen or a blue pen any pen but this is going to be throw away this picture we're copying this picture that was not showing up we're copying this picture and what we're going to do is grid up the picture now this is done with a width of a ruler now if you haven't got a big ruler like this then you can measure couldn't you that one is 38 38 you could get a lines across there and space them out you can use a stick a, an edge of something like a book or something like that which got a nice straight edge on and what we're going to do is grid up the piece of paper we're then going to do it the other way so we end up with squares they have to be squares because when we draw on our other piece of paper they're going to be squares as well so we're going to square up the piece of paper now if you've been watching portrait artists of the year you will see that what the thing they do as soon as they get the celebrity in to draw them they go and take a photo of them and on their iPad or whatever they actually then um, square up the image of the celebrity on telly and then draw the out squares out as you can see look that's made marks on the picture underneath um, so this is a student and she squared up the piece of paper uh, it looks like she's done it in pencil doesn't matter because that's going eventually after we've drawn it 
Now we're going to square up the piece of paper. Now this is going to be five centimeters. So I'm going to just measure across there five. Now instead of measuring five, moving it and moving it and then not getting it right, I'm just going to do in increments of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, start the ruler again and keep going across. Now you have to measure from the same end. If you turn the paper upside down and measure, you might, you will run out, the lines will run out. So you need to measure on either side. Now, there's something I'm, I haven't told you yet. And that is, this is an HB pencil. I love drawing in a 4B pencil. An HB pencil is nice to do it in because you do not want this line to be very heavy. So when I draw the line there, I'm going to hold the pencil at the end so I can't put a lot of pressure on it. So when I draw the line there, that line is a little bit too dark. Because what you want to be able to do is rub this line out later. So it has to be really light. You could practice on another piece of paper. And the reason I say that is that line's it's okay, you can practice, see if it'll rub out. Because if you end up getting a piece of paper and then drawing on it like this, and then you get a line which is like this, that line's going to be very difficult to rub out later. Because what this student has done is drawn square for square and then rubbed out the lines later. This, um, and so you, you hide how you do the drawing. So from there, we're going to draw square for square on the piece of paper. So this now. Um, you may notice that when you start measuring this way, you're going to have to, um, the ruler is not going to reach the piece of paper if you've got a long, if you haven't got a long ruler. If you have got um, something that's a nice straight edge, you can measure on the end and put a stick across there. You know, you can ask at home, is there anything straight, like a curtain rail or something like that, something that's lying around the house or a piece of wood or something with a straight edge. And so you're going to measure like that, and we're going to measure that on the end. <clears throat> and obviously, you could just sit and watch me work. But so I'm going to stop before I grid up the entire piece of paper, because that's going to be the next video on what we're going to do then with the piece of paper. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to run the grid, 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way across there. So there's a grid, and it's going to be an exact square. Do not draw heavy and make sure it's a perfect grid. I've given you more than one piece of paper in case you go wrong, but you can't go wrong more than twice because there's only two bits of paper in your folder. And it's expensive paper, so um, or a nice paper with a texture on it. You want to draw on that piece of paper. You do not want to um, end up getting a bit of photocopy paper to draw on because you've messed up your your work a few times. So draw that those lines really light on there and draw the grid, the width of a ruler or 38 on there. So you will end up with a picture gridded up like that and a piece of blank paper, A3 paper that was in your folder with grids on. Now um, you can, on the next video, I'm gonna talk to you about um, drawing the drawing the picture. Um, that's it. Do that from one of the pictures that I put in your folder. You can choose one or the other. Um, now, some of you, um, so these are just things from home, like some paints that I had, some in my greenhouse, some objects from my daughter's bedroom. We obviously want a picture that ends up looking like that. If you're going to go and find your own picture, you can't go and find somebody else's art and copy it. It has to be an original picture. So all those pictures that I gave you were from photos that I've taken. So they should be good to use. And then on the next one, I'm going to tell you about drawing.